Hello, my lovely members. Mwah, mwah. It's the Mimi Show. It's the Mimi Show. It's the Mimi Show. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, yeah. So, I've been hearing through the grapevine about Harry's million dollar, you know, deficit. You know, I mean, it, it, my videos in the past have already said that he was failing in that arena, going after his home, his country's um, government, trying to get some security for his wife. Because that's who it's for, it's for Megan. Everything that Harry does and they do, and Megan does, and her team is about Megan. She went to that polo match. She pushed Harry with her elbow. She was orchestrating and telling people where to stand and where not to stand. And then she made a spot for herself on the stage. Now, I didn't hate the outfit that she had on, but she's controlling she's manipulating she's a fraud and she's a fake and i know you guys are tired of me saying that but it's the truth you know she created this riviera brand word on the street is is that it's she that's failed she wasn't able to brand it because it belongs to someone else i believe and it just goes to show you the loserness of it all Let's, I want to make something really clear. I'm not rooting for Megan to lose. Megan has done that on her own. She has created this negative persona around herself. And so unfortunately, the life that she's trying to have as this philanthropist, as this humanitarian, mental health person, this charity, all this other BS that she's not is a bunch of BS. It is. She's not this person. She's not a friendly person. And then the nerve to add friendship. That's the stupid stuff. What else do I want to say about this stuff? It's old. The stuff that we're talking about is old news. It's the repeat Megan has been on the stage at a polo match for Harry before with that hat on in the way, like she was in the way this time, as if she hopped herself on a horse and was hitting, hit, playing polo her own self. But I just don't understand why she is in front and center at his polo match as if she was the winner or as if she was endorsing them or, you know, it was just weird. It's totally different from Catherine and William. Catherine is not on stage holding up trophies and trying to be in the middle and be in the limelight. Megan doesn't go to court with Harry when it's time for him to go to court and figure out what's going on with his um, court status. Sorry, the phone. I'm going to try to be still with it. She doesn't go and support him when it comes to that. She doesn't go and support him when his father was announced that he had cancer. She's not taking the kids over there. And I say this a lot because I think it's the most despicable thing. That she doesn't send the kids over there to see their family. But the kicker is, is that she walk around like she's Marilyn Monroe. And she, of course that is like such a big stretch because Marilyn Monroe is is on another level. She walks around like she's Princess Diana, which is a disgrace. And Harry should be dis Harry should be ashamed of her. Harry should be ashamed of himself for allowing his Jezebel to pretend that she is even remotely clo close to being classy like his mother, or his or his um, brother's wife, Catherine. Word on the street is one of the aides came out and wanted to remind us that Megan was a bully, that she was bullied. And not only was she bullied, 
but she couldn't find anyone to replace her to help Megan, to be Megan's aide or assistance or whatever. Because nobody wanted to work with some controlling, manipulating, psychopath, narcissistic person. Call it what you want. I'm going to say it again. Someone has recently come out, one of the aides wanted to remind us that, yes, they didn't say that she wasn't a bully. But they pretty, more, they pretty much insinuated that nobody wanted to work with Megan because of her bullying tactics. But here's the kicker. When she was on stage last couple of weeks ago talking about and having that the uh, the co-host ask her about being bullied online and then she goes and starts talking about herself and how she has been bullied. She was bullied when she had two babies and they she was just so bullied. Nope, you're just trying to pretend like you you're trying to change the story as if you were the one that was being bullied and you know good and well you are the bully. You bully your husband. You try to bully Catherine. You try to bully bully William. Bully William's like, no, you're not going to come over here and talk to my people like this and our aides and the people that's been taking care of us before you started to come up in this house. The mistake that the royals made was allowing her to be a part of the royal fold. But they seem to be not making that mistake anymore because she's gone. And without the relevance of her being a part of the royal family, Megan will be nothing. Let me repeat that. Without Megan having a connection, without Megan having a a um, relationship, a um, connection, a family-oriented kind of a relationship with the royal families, the Americans don't care about what's going on with Riviera. All we want to know is what's going on over there in the royal household. Not the negative, but the good. But obviously, she wasn't over there long enough to have a real story to tell. Here's the kicker. She's fading. She has faded. These Invictus twisted you doos that she keep doing every year. This polo twisted you do things that boring. We don't do polo in we don't do polo over here. We don't have polo matches. If we do, I have never heard of it before. And so this new docu series of him on a horse, hurting the horse, it looks like, being very mean to the horse, scarring the horse's little, you know, cut the horse. I saw that piece and he's just riding the horse like it's just something to do. It's really making me feel like Harry is heartless too. Like he's got a lot of Megan in him. And then the only time that he feels like he's responsible for something that he's done is if someone really calls him out on it. And then he realizes, well, yeah, that probably would have been, that's probably was wrong. No, you married a Jezebel. She's pushing you around on stage, telling you where to stand. And you're the one, it's your match. Is she going to let you in on the Riviera um, soap opera that she's about to go through? Her, her word on the street is through um, the Royal Rogue is that... Mm -mm. She stole a brand. The brand doesn't belong to her. It belongs to someone else. I don't care about what outfit Megan has on. I really don't care. I really don't go into what she looks like as far as her physical being. But I'm the outfit that she had on that was white, it was nice. But the inside is so corroded that it doesn't make the outfit look beautiful on her. Unfortunately, you can't, You this is what you can't do, okay? You can't put, you can't take a rag dog, doll like Megan, a rag doll, a manipulator, a con artist, a bully, a blamer, a liar, take her and then 
put some clean clothes, nice, expensive clothes on her, and then all of a sudden think that she's this wonderful person that we should, you know, um, want to mimic. Now, I did see Thomas Marco with the baby bump and was pretending that it was a baby. Here's my thing about Thomas Marco. He's upset with his sister. He's disappointed in the way that she treats them. And the more that she ignores them, the more that she treats her father the way she does, and Samantha and Thomas Marco, they're going to be angry and disappointed. Now, I was just watching something on um, with Kinsley Schofield, and um, word on the street, what she was saying is that um, there's some controversy there between her and Samantha and Thomas Marco, I believe. And the basically what's really going on is I believe they're trying to call Kinsley a hypocrite. And I've done a video on her before too. And I just feel like she just doesn't know what side she wants to be on. And that's okay. She's impartial. You know, and some of us are rooting for Megan to have this big Riviera brand. I'm not rooting for her not to be successful, but I'm not rooting for her to be successful because I feel that she doesn't deserve the fan base or the people to support her because of the way she treated her sister, her brother, and her father. She made sure that they wasn't going to be able to make any money because she defamed them on a national stage. And so you can't tell me that the brother... Thomas Jr. and Samantha and the father aren't a little salty at Megan for being that way. I would be. I would be very disappointed with her, but I believe that they're upset to the degree that he says things about his sister that he doesn't like her. He sees the fakeness. He, he To me, with him, with the baby bump and stuff like that, he's bringing it out. And Megan's trying to shut it down. Anything that doesn't make her seem good in the light, let's try to shut it down and pretend that that's not going on. Excuse me, page six has came out and wanted us to know, Megan, that you were a bully over there in the kingdom. And not only were you bullying the staff, and the AIDS. But when you got on TV the other day lying and talking about how you were being bullied, we people are realizing that it's not you being bullied. You're the bullier. You're the bully. Oh, yes, ma'am. That's that stupid stuff. And as far as Harry owing money, he's going to be owing court costs for the rest of his life as long as he's with Jezebel. Over there trying to fight for her rights to get 24-hour security because she thinks she is, mm -mm. she believes that she is royalty enough and she's supposed to have exactly what Catherine has because she married a prince. She's taking it too far. That's my dryer, sorry. Our washing machine, one of them. Okay. <laughs> no, it's over. And I say that a lot and people are like, okay, whatever, Leticia. But I'm serious. I don't know what the, in the United States of America, her likability for her Riviera is at 70%. That tells you that people are not interested in her nutty buddies or her jam juices or whatever she's going to be making on national TV because people are trying to figure out, is she a cook? Is she a chef? Is she a, a homemaker? No, honey. You married a prince and messed around and got yourself kicked smooth out of the monarchy. You got yourself kicked, smoothed out of why you became famous. And now you're trying to create this world of Riviera over here in Montecito. And it's failing. You're a loser. 
And it's not because I'm calling you a loser. Hey, they called you a loser in 2024. They called you a hypocrite. They calling you a narcissistic person, Megan. Do you not hear the words that are coming out of people's mouth? But, oh, you don't care. You're just going to ignore it. Pushing people off the say, stage, thinking you're the center of attention. It is unbelievable. The royal family is the center of attention. Catherine, William, King Charles, and Camilla, and the rest of them. They are why you exist. And since you have nothing else to offer us and tell us about what's going on with your in-laws, we don't want to hear nothing about no Riviera. We don't care about that. The Americans, listen, Oprah was only interested in you is because you were a part of the royal family. Now that you no longer have a connection, where is Oprah? And let's just talk about Serena with her wannabe self. It's, I, I do not care for her anymore. She is not a fan of mine. I don't care what kind of tennis player she is. But anytime you can hang around a person that can be a bully or narcissistic, a psychopath, someone that doesn't care about anybody but themselves, and then going to pretend that she's some golden child, and then Serena running up and behind her thinking that, oh, okay, Megan's this great person. That's a bunch of BS. It says something about your character. Serena. And I already told Pete, Paula M. Sorry, sometimes I call Paula M. and, and um, P. Dinah the same, and I do apologize. So I had to erase a video once because I called pa Paula P. Dinah. But now I didn't forgot what I was going to say. But my point is, is that without the royal family, you are nothing. Without that connection, you are nothing. With, and it's not, um, Paula mentioned something that she thinks it's all about the titles. It's not about the titles, sweetheart. It can be. It's a part of it. But it's a part of, it, it's being a famous. Being famous, getting in front of everybody, being being the new, um, the, new the new Diana. That's what Megan wants to be. But... Diana was a part of the royal family. You're not. She kept in touch. She kept connected. She she was a philanthropist. Diana did the things that you will never be able to do. And now that King Charles and William them aren't even speaking to you on a regular basis, it's like, Megan who? And the only talent that she had was the talent to be successful with being a part of the royal family. And for her to walk out on her success ticket was the most stupidest thing she could have done. And if you're not seeing the fall from grace, you're missing the story. You're missing it. The fall from grace. She's falling from grace. And I don't care how, what, what new outfit I did like that outfit. I want to see if I can get that for myself. But not the same one because I don't want her. Anyway, moving on. You, you put yourself in this situation and ruined every chance of being this successful royal that you could have been. And now you're trying to be over here in Montecito and make up a new royal family that doesn't exist. And your puppet, your prop, as, as Trevor called them, props. Your prop, Harry, I call it, I meant to tell Trevor, let Trevor know that he's an accessory. He's an accessory to the to the disgraceness of what she does on a daily basis. And it's boring. It's the same thing. She's losing her, she's losing her, her uh juice to be, she's losing that fame. We're talking about the same stuff 
over and over and over again, and it has gotten old. Polo, Charity, what outfit she's going to be having on today. And, oh, oh, Riviera, and what she's going to be branding. And the the lake by the book, that, that ain't coming out yet. And then the pearl, and then all this other debacle, debacle stuff that she keeps trying to come up with that fails. Your ticket to success was the fact that you were in the royal family, that you knew someone famous because you're not famous. And so the kicker to me is, is that since you became, a, you were a D-lister and then you became famous overnight because of Harry. And then you ruined that by going on Oprah talking about racism and suicidal and stupid stuff. And now you want us to look at you and see that you succeed in your TIG 2.2. And we want to see the connection between you and the royal family, but that's over with because they want nothing to do with you. So is it fading or not? Kisses to you guys. I hope you enjoyed my little short clip. I'm going to share this with my um, lovely members first. I believe I have 17 members. Kisses to all of you, and thank you for hanging out with me. I may or may not do a live on Thursday. There's a lot going on over here in the Reed's world. And um, we're tonight we're going to go to Little Gym, where she does gymnastics. I usually take a nap beforehand, but that ain't happening. <laughs> I also want to thank all my lovely subscribers for your wonderful words. The kind, the things that you say to me are just so touching and moving. And I am so grateful to each and every one of you. Um, kisses to you all. Thank you. My numbers are rising and I do owe that to Paula M, the Duchess of Narsussex, Sue Smith, Trevor, and the rest of you guys, and I owe it to you guys too, the ones that hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit it. Let me know what you think because the story hasn't changed. If Megan is not going, if <laughs> Megan, when Megan left, that's when Megan left the household of the royal household. And then it's not deciding to go back at any moment, not even to take the kids. She's ruining herself. But she prances around like, oh, it's okay. It's going good. And trying to silence people. But we're not going to shut up. If anything, more and more is coming out. Page six, by the way, Megan, if you haven't checked it out yet, Page six wanted us to know that one of the aides that you used to bully is speaking out. It's the Mimi show. 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 Uh-oh, 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 yeah. Have a wonderful afternoon, my lovely members. Kisses to all of you. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek. Kisses.